it's an ongoing amazing story and I'm just blessed to be a part of it. I woke up in the morning early and had an overwhelming dreadful feeling that they were in danger. And when you're a mom and you can't shake a feeling that your kids are in fear or your kids are in trouble, uh, you act. We have a conference every year in DC called Human to Mars Summit. In 2019, we invited the Afghan girls robotic team. We paid their way to come over to the United States. We wanted them to have a chance to immerse themselves in uh, the world of space to brush shoulders with astronauts and, and leaders in the industry. And we took them to the White House and museums and showed them around. So I began to put out emails to senators and as many powerful people I could think of. Um, to see if I could get a lead, see if I could get someone that would uh, take on this um, impassioned cause I was feeling inside myself. She said, yeah, I have the ear of the, the most powerful officials in the, in the embassy. And I think if you'll send me some uh, more information, their passports and, and their, their uh, personal information, I think I, can, I think I can get some traction on this. All I can say, it was a it was a miracle. They weren't they didn't have to even go get the girls. Somehow the girls broke through the Taliban perim perimeter. They just made it through that perimeter, suitcases in hand. These brave little high school girls, and um, made it into the airport. And after several canceled flights, were airlifted out uh, about a, a what would have been Tuesday morning. And I got a text from their um, mentor that uh, they're off the ground. They're in the air. They're on their way. We did it. I'm just a mom in Oklahoma City. I don't have um, expertise, but I will tell you this, um, I won't give up. I will not give up until I get each and every one of them.